I want to. I was thinking about this. I want to know how much money is spent on R and D for the Chinese clone engines. I'm. I'm R and D. Research and development. Oh. I I can't imagine it's much at all. Like, I can't imagine. Like, it's just. I, I was wondering how much it costs to produce one of those, like a, like a Predator engine. I mean, I'm assuming Predators. Predators are probably the most expensive to make out of all the clone engines. Why? Because, well, I mean, it's Harbor Freight. They got they got a little bit of overhead, but all the like a generic cheap Chinese clone up Amazon got no overhead whatsoever. And I'm sure that they're not. Um, I know Harbor Freight's scraping the bottom of the barrel, but I'm sure they're. Engines with less quality. I mean, anyways, I'm just thinking. They probably, they, they're testing. They probably, they, they probably designed their prototype on the computer and trucked it together in a factory. They were like, "Hey, hey, Dorothy, I'll give you an extra two bucks today if you help me put this thing together." Okay. So they take the Chinese, the six-year-old kid, they have him throw together a prototype, they take that thing, they fire it up, they have it run for 15 minutes, okay, we're good, let's mass produce these babies. <laughs> That's probably how it goes. Seems legit to me. They don't even test them at the factory. They just throw them in the box and hope it works. They're running a little low on grass and hay. Okay. Well, we don't have hay, so... Well, it's just hay, comma, grass. The uh, Harbor Freight engines, if you get them in the box, like new, you'll can, if you take them apart, you'll find no evidence that they've been ran. Huh. No deposits on the muffler or anything. Whereas I know, like, uh, if you get a Honda or Briggs, they, they test them. And you can tell, like, the Honda is if some burnt stuff. I'm assuming what they do is they just put some gas in the spark plug hole and away you go. Fire it up. Dump an entire can of ether into it. I'm pretty sure they just put like, probably an ounce of fuel into it and you go. Not even an ounce, probably just like freaking a mist or something. Ten, probably, probably just like ten milliliters and what? Probably just, just like that. Probably just a square to ether. Right. Actually. Yeah, we're gonna do a thirty-second break-in on this engine. <laughs> yeah, I don't, not even. It's, like we're gonna do like a ten-second break-in. I don't believe. Just you start it up, zing it right to the moon. Zing it right to the moon. Yeah. Okay. Start it. Or just as soon as you start it, right at the right at the rev limiter. Like honestly, I don't. Did I did I see any of the video of that? The guy with the rental what? truck. No. Okay, so that, there's this guy I have on Snapchat. He rented a rental truck just to screw around with. And he rented like a 1500, like a Chevy, yeah, 1500. And so he's like, we're gonna screw this truck up. He said that he bought like uh, extra coverage on it, so in case you total it, it's like all paid for or whatever. They're assuming uh -huh. you're not gonna total it. But he said it was only like 20 bucks per day extra. Or maybe. And how many days did he have this? Only one. So what oh. he did was he he posted a video. He's like, "This is how you start it. When you start it, you pin it." So he started it with his <laughs> foot all the way down, <laughs> and so he, the engine starts and it goes. Ooh! It was at like r the red line. Oh my god! <laughs> and, no, because at, at first when you start the Chevys, the tachometer goes um, or he had an goes all the first. way up and then all the way down. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it did that when it, then it went right back to the <laughs> right back. <laughs> ding ding, warp, warp, warp. Yeah, and then he was like, "Let's see how fast we can get this thing going in, in first gear." And he 
<laughs> he was using some manual mode. He had to go doing 65 in first gear. But the thing oh my just, god. The thing was just pinned. And, uh, I yeah. And then, um, he was like, alright. This is the truck lane. And he drove off the side of the road and he was driving in, like, the grabless shoulder. <laughs> this is the truck lane. I Mine will do about 30 in first gear, about 3,500 RPM out of 6,000. But he, um... But then he did a massive burnout and just smoked the tires right off. <laughs> we are gonna fuck... Junk. They are gonna fuck this rental up. <laughs> we are gonna fuck this pile of shit up. Make sure when you start something, always just pin it. See how fast we can get this pile of shit up to. Assistant <laughs> fucking truck lane. Sorry right about your house, Justin. Get the fuck out of your Does 60 in first gear. <laughs> See how much faster we can get to go. We're still in first gear. Oh my god. This guy, I was crying so hard. Oh yeah, there was a video of them walking around at a first year, all just like kicking the thing, kicking a bumper for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> how much did this guy pay to rent this truck? I don't know, probably not much. But that got me, I was telling, I was telling my friend about this in school, and we were like, okay, we gotta look more stuff. So obviously you got how the videos. Many, how many views? How many views does he have on this video? It was on Snapchat. Oh, I he, he Snapchatted you, you, me the stuff. So I thought he put it on YouTube. No, 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 I was telling my friend about this, and so then I mean, obviously you've seen the videos of burnouts and stuff and U-Haul trucks on YouTube, right? Huh? Sure. So then we started looking at more rental stuff, and there were videos of people like. Like drifting the U-Haul trucks, like the pickup trucks. Oh my and stuff. god! So oh good was... lord! I'm like that. That would be awesome to do for a day. Just rent a U-Haul truck and take this thing out on the track. <laughs> take it under the bush. That's what. That's what. There's a video on YouTube of some guy. He jumps the U-Haul and he gets all four tires up off the off the ground. Like, that'd good be awesome. lord. You know, take a, or even just to buy an old, <laughs> no, don't buy an old, just rent the U-Haul, just get the, rent the 26-footer and take that thing up and jump. Oh, man. <laughs>